So it's a quick, easy way of getting grease into the upper ball joint. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, we can see this is a newer revision of the control arm. So this is revision G. Uh, typically the A's and the other ones, uh, they had problematic with their amount of grease, I believe, in the ball socket area, and they would go dry and they start squeaking. So this one's G, technically doesn't need it, but you can almost see there's a spot there for Zerk fitting. This one here is supposed to be revision. We're only doing this as a demonstration. If I have revision G on a vehicle, uh, I probably won't have the squeaking problem, but uh, since it's, they're the same, I think all they did is added more grease to them. Uh, so they didn't, uh, they actually didn't uh, uh, go dry as easy. Uh, some people actually take these and they'll, they'll just take them apart. And if yours is squeaking and it isn't revision G, uh, just take it and just move it in a full rotation on the vehicle. You don't have to remove it from the vehicle. You can just drop it down, uh, do a full rotation of it, moving it back and forth just to get that grease to move around again and uh, sometimes that's all you need to do and that'll give you a little bit longer life until it either gets replaced under warranty or uh or you may be good for you know for how whoever knows how long so okay good so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the upper control arm from the front spindle here so and you'll notice that a lot of the teslas they mark all the bolts with paint marker so now what we're after is there's two revisions of these control arms, which we'll be talking about. Um, this is a 2018 Model 3, and what they do is they get squeaking in the bushing because they get dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab my strap here. So the problem with these guys is they don't have the ability to grease the upper ball joints. But it's almost like they make it so they have like a, a place for a zerk fitting. Now the revision on this one's probably an A, where the newer ones are a little newer. They have a G marking on this one. The tag's gone, so we can't really tell what revision this one is. Uh, is take it and just move it in a full rotation on the vehicle. You don't have to remove it from the vehicle. You can just drop it down, torque the nut back on. So it's a quick, easy way of getting grease into the upper ball joint. 